Time now for our Life and Info segment where we focus on information useful for your everyday life. Today we're going to be specifically talking about Korea, but if you live uh, in a hot country, it will also come in useful for you as well. I'm happy to say we have our business correspondent Kim Hesung joining us in the studio today to discuss ways to block out the sun. And the reason we're talking about this topic with you as the business correspondent is because the sun protection industry uh, is really growing fast in South Korea. Right, and with that, the, the uh, first heat wave of the year has been issued here in Korea. So it's not only getting hotter because it's summer, also the sun's rays are getting stronger. Mm. And the direct exposure to sun's rays or ultraviolet radiation can cause skin inflammation, skin cancer, or skin aging in the long term. So it's important to really correctly block out the sun. And there are two types of ultraviolet radiation. First is UVA. Um, it's long wave and ultraviolet B, that's UVB, short wave. Both types damage unprotected skin. SPF, uh, which stands for sun protection factor, is used to protect from UVB, which affects aging and cancer. SPF indicates how long it'll take for UVB rays to redden the skin when using a sunscreen. For instance, someone using a sunscreen with an SPF of 15 will take 15 times longer to redden with then without the sunscreen. So the higher the number, the longer it lasts. PA stands for a protection factor that protects from UVA rays that affect pigmentation like brown spots. There are mainly three types, PA+, plus, PA++, double plus, and PA++ triple plus here in Korea. Now take a listen to a dermatology expert on how to use sunscreen. Research shows SPF of 50 or higher is effective. PA triple plus is good enough to protect from UVA, but what matters is how much you apply and how often you apply it. We recommend applying it every two hours. You actually need two milligrams per square centimeter of skin, but people usually use only a third of the necessary amount. Putting more on than you think is actually important. Some good tips there from the expert, and it must be said that many Koreans don't actually like their skin to get too uh, tanned anyway. The, the, the preference is for a more whiter skin among a lot of Koreans. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, there's also this uh, obsession with uh, looking youthful for as mm -hmm. long as possible among many in Korea. But when you do go to cosmetic shops here in Korea, it's not just sun cream anymore, is it? You can get... Uh, sprays, liquids, mists, you name it. But is there a difference between how effective each of these different kind of pro products are? Right, the type of products here in Korea has doubled in the last three years. And according mm. to research from Euromonitor, the kind of sunscreen products in the sunblock market has grown 30% or 20% in the last five years to 800 million U.S. dollars in 2017. But the effectiveness of products, be it sun stick or sun cream, which is measured by SPF and PA, they're quite similar. But as the expert said, given that people have to put a lot more than we usually do, cream or liquid is better than mist as the area mist can cover is smaller. Okay, and along with the skin, I think it's almost uh, as important to consider your eyes because they can be... Uh, uh, affected in a negative way by strong sunlight as well. Can you give us some tips uh, on what to look for when we purchase sunglasses? Yes, out of the two radiations, UV and UVB, the corina we can absorb UVA, which could cause inflammation, uh, corina-related diseases, or even cataract. Right. So there are three things to look for. Number one is to check whether it can block UV of 400 nanometers. 400 is needed to protect your eyes from UVB and UVA. Second, um, it's interesting, it's the color of the sunglasses. Apparently, out of colors, dark gray, purple, brown, and green, there's a type that your eyes feel most comfortable with. Everyone has different cells that applies for eyes, too. On top of the size of a pupil that changes sun penetration, the color of sunglasses can affect your eye stress level. So we recommend customers find a color that suits them and the weight of the glasses that fits them. OK, so you need to look for a little sticker that says that it blocks up to 400 nanometers, if possible, if the shop has that. And uh, the color of the glasses, that, that means the lens that's actually, actually in, the, in the glasses, right? So you just be uh, 
vigilant while you're shopping for your sunglasses. Yeah, and actually the stores, they have a measuring thing, so you can put your sunglasses and see if it covers uh, 400 nanometers. Right. So you, have to look, okay. you don't have to look at it. Yeah. And there are the two more things to check. Uh, first is to check your sunglasses regularly because there can be scratches on the surface which would affect the effectiveness of sun blocking and there can be sun penetration. And second is don't leave your sunglasses in the car, especially if you park it outside in the summer. The heat in the car could go up to 40 or even 70 Celsius degrees, which can cause damage to the sunglasses. Well, I learn something every day. I wasn't aware of that information, so perhaps I should stop leaving my sunglasses in the car. Hesung, it was a pleasure to have you in the studio, and thanks for the great tips. Thank you. My pleasure.